Hey, third grade, it's Mrs. Seals back for our next science lab. Last week, we started talking about energy. And last week, we were talking about a form of energy called sound energy. This week, we are going to move on and talk about another form of energy called mechanical energy. So <clears throat> here's your target. It says I can explore different forms of energy, including mechanical in everyday life. <clears throat> so let's make sure we all remember what is energy. Energy is the ability to cause change or do work. And in third grade, I said we'll be learning about four forms of energy. Sound, which is what we talked about last week. This week, we're talking about mechanical. We'll also be learning about light and thermal, which is another word for heat. <clears throat> So mechanical energy is the energy of motion. Notice how I have the first letter of mechanical, which is M in red, and the first letter of motion in red. Anything that is moving or in motion is using mechanical energy. So if you look at something and you see movement or motion, then it is using mechanical energy. Here are some examples of mechanical energy. A person swinging a golf club, a person hammering a nail, and a ball bouncing. All of those things are using mechanical energy because they are all moving or in motion. So today, to explore mechanical energy, we're going to do a, a fun little um, activity. Um, since you are at home, unfortunately, you will not get to do this unless you make what I'm about to show you. Um, the kids that are here in class will be getting to participate in this. So we're going to be doing an activity called Marshmallow Shooters. And to do this activity, you use something that looks like this which is called a marshmallow shooter. It could be called a catapult. And to make this, it's pretty easy if you wanna make this at home. You might just ask a grown up um, to get these supplies, which you could probably get all of these at the dollar store. Um, you, need, you need nine of these wide popsicle sticks. So they're not just like the regular popsicle sticks, they're wider. You need nine of them and you're going to stack seven of them up and rubber band them together. And then the other two go like this, one on top, one on the bottom, and they're also rubber banded together on the bottom and to the seven. Okay, so you need nine of these wide popsicle sticks. You need some rubber bands so you can rubber band them on there. And then you need a plastic spoon, which is also rubber banded on there. So easy peasy. So the way this works, <clears throat> when it's your turn or when the kids in class, when it's their turn, they're going to take a marshmallow and they put it in the catapult, they pull it back and it pushes the marshmallow forward. Okay, and we'll see, we'll measure to see how far they go and see who goes the furthest. It's just for fun. But this is showing mechanical energy in several different ways. When you pull back the marshmallow shooter, that's mechanical energy because it's moving, it's in motion. When you let go, there's mechanical energy again because there's more movement. And then as the marshmallow is flying through the air, it's also using mechanical energy because it's moving or in motion through the air. Okay, so lots of mechanical energy is happening here in this activity. This is just for fun, there's no winner, there's no loser, there's no prize, but if you decide to make this at home, if you have these supplies or you're able to get them, I would love for you to show me yours. I would love to see how far your marshmallow goes, okay? So, um, I'm gonna show you mine really quickly, just so you can see how far it goes. So I'm gonna move my um, laptop so you can see, and going to come back here. Hopefully you can still see me. And this is going to be the, the line where they're going to shoot from. Okay. So you have to start at this line, put your marshmallow in, pull it back. Woo! that went pretty far. I don't know if you could see it, but the marshmallow went all the way almost to my desk. 
So if I were to count, it's easy to measure because each of these squares on the floor is one foot. It's the length of one foot, 12 inches. So we don't even have to get out a meter stick or a ruler. We can just count the squares. So I'm going to start back here and count the squares to see how far my marshmallow went. Are you ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six. So that means that my marshmallow went twenty-six feet. Whoa, that's pretty far. Do you think yours can go faster? I mean further? I would love to see it. So if you are at home. Um, and you do this activity, take a picture, show me. You can email it to me or post it on Schoology. Um, don't forget, there is a short quiz about mechanical energy after this video. It's not for a grade. It's not required. It's just for fun. It's just for me to see, excuse me, what you know about mechanical energy. All right, I hope you had fun, and I will see you next week when... We talk about another form of energy. Bye, guys.